Hello, welcome to another video. Usually when you get a problem like this one, you get it when you have not learned anything about L'Hopital's rule, where you can use L'Hopital's rule to solve a problem like this. And why do you, would you need L'Hopital's rule? It's because if you plug in one over four to the top and the bottom, you're gonna end up with zero on top and end up with zero under, because one over one over four is four. So four minus four gives you zero, and then 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 is 0. So that, the, the function itself is undefined. And whenever you get 0 over 0, it means you can either use L'Hopital's rule or you can do some algebraic manipulation to get the limit. Usually, that's what happens. Now, say you have not, you're not allowed to use L'Hopital's rule for this problem. You should just do algebraic manipulation. And there's so many ways. But the universal way I would like you to employ is to multiply the top and the bottom by all the things you see in the denominators, both on top and um, under the complex fraction. So this is a fraction within a fraction. So what you want to do is if I look at the top, I have x as a denominator. Look at the bottom, I have 4 as a denominator. So put the 4 and the x together and use it to multiply. So I'm going to multiply this by 4x. I multiply this also by 4x. So I have not changed anything because 4x divided by 4x is 1 doesn't change this problem. So here, what I have is equal to the limit as x goes to 1 over 4 of, now let's do this multiplication. If I multiply 1 over x by 4x, I'm going to end up with 4. If I multiply 4 by 4x, I'm going to get 16x. So I have 16x. And here, what do I have? Do this multiplication, I'm going to get 16x, sorry, I'm going to get 4x squared. So this is going to be 4x squared, and if I multiply this, I got minus x. Okay, so, uh, so what comes out of this? Well, the good thing is you're able to factor. What can we factor out? What's common to this and this 4? What's common to this and this x? So what I have is equal to the limit as x goes to 1 over 4 of, this is going to be 4 times 4, sorry, this is going to be um, 1 minus 4x. Interesting. And what do I have here? This is going to be x times 4x minus 1. So, beautiful. Look, this is 1 minus 4x. This is 4x minus 1. So, remember generally in algebra, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. But what about 5 minus 2? What is it? It's 3. So you notice that when you switch the terms in a subtraction, what you're getting is just the negative of the answer. So this divided by this is just negative 1. So we know that this ratio is going to be a negative. What we have now is basically the limit as x goes to 1 over 4 of 4 over x multiplied by, so instead of writing 1 minus 4x, I'm going to write the negative version, which is 4x minus 1, which is the same thing as 1 minus 4x, okay, divided by 4x minus 1. Do you see that? I didn't change the bottom, I just switched the top to the negative version of it, which is still the same thing, because when you distribute this, that's what you have. And this is equal to um, the limit as x goes to 1 over 4 of well, this is a negative 1 times 4 over x. That's going to be negative 4 over x. Now, I can plug in my x for this one, and this is going to be um, negative 4 over 1 over 4. Okay? And this is going to be negative 16. How do I know it's negative 16? Multiply the top and bottom by 4, since that's the only denominator you have. Multiply by 4, you get 1. Multiply by 4, you get negative 16. And that is this limit without using L'Hopital's rule. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.